Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to show you how to create a machine catalog. So machine catalog is uh, basically a group of desktop operating systems or server operating systems. So in order to create machine catalog, you need to click on create machine catalog on Citrix Studio. This will take a while, so please bear with me. All right, now you see this on the screen. It asks, it gives various details like machine catalogs are collections of physical or virtual machines that you assign to users. You create catalogs from master image of physical machines in your environment. All right, so what I would like to do is I'll go ahead, go ahead and click next. Okay, so it gives you various options. The first one is uh, server operating system. This could be uh, Windows Server 2012, 2012R, 2016, 2019. And the desktop OS, uh, this could be Windows 7, Windows uh, 8, Windows 10, like that. And remote PC access is uh, you have a feature where you can connect to the uh, physical uh, machines which are in the data centers or in the office. So this is another option. So I, in my scenario, I would select server OS and click next. Okay, so it is asking uh, whether the machines that are power managed, for example, virtual machines or blade PCs. So uh, in my case, it is the first option and it is asking the deploying uh, machine method, which is uh, Citrix uh, machine creation services in my scenario. And you also have an option like Citrix provisioning services and also uh, any different uh, service, or service or technology. So Citrix provisioning services, if you have heard about it, it is also a technology where uh, you can stream the uh, virtual uh, machines or desktops to the users over the network. So this is a very interesting technology, which I'm going to talk about it in the coming videos. So for now, I'm going to click next. All right, now it uh, looks for the snapshot or the image. All right, so I have uh, created Citrix Server, Windows Server 2012 before. So the machine is ready. So I will go ahead and click next. All right, now it asks like how many virtual machines do you want to create? I, I am okay with uh, one virtual machine at this point in time and it, it asks like how much memory you want to allocate for this particular machine. So you can uh, give like 2 GB or 4 GB or depends upon your requirement. And then uh, what you can do is you can uh, uh, go ahead and click next. All right, it is asking where do you want to uh, put this machine in which OU? So I'm gonna select computers and uh, I'll type VDI. Uh, zero one and click next. All right, uh, it is asking the name of the machine catalog. So I will mention it as financial, financial team server OS machine, something like that. Okay, it is asking machine catalog description for administrators. So this is for administrators, not for the users. I can just mention like finance department users. Okay, so I will go ahead and click finish and see how it goes. 
uh, before you click finish you can just cross check so the machine type is server os machine management is virtual provisioning method is mcs not pvs and resources is india storage and you, you see the master image name so you can cross check all these details and virtual cpu is 12 i'm sorry 2 and memory is uh, 2 gb so everything looks good i will go ahead and click finish so the process has started and this process uh, would take a couple of minutes so please bear with me So it uses the machine that I've created to uh, create uh, different virtual machines. Uh, in this uh, scenario, I'm just creating one virtual machine. So it uses the master image. So as I said before, machine catalog, uh, you, can, you can create server operating systems or desktop operating systems, or you can also have remote PC machines as well. and always make sure that you have enough resources before you create machine catalog so uh, before you create catalog make sure that you have enough memory enough virtual cpus enough uh, disk space and all these things so if at any point in time if uh, it is uh, if, if if the memory is not sufficient then you might uh, get an error message saying that uh, this machine catalog uh, you know has failed so you may have to increase the memory and you may have to create the machine catalog again All right, I think this is going to take uh, a lot of time. So I will be on mute for the next few minutes. Seems like a very long process, guys. It is going to take at least some time. So please bear with me while this. Uh, master image is getting done
Seems like we came to the end of the process. The master image has been copied and it is creating a virtual machine. In this machine catalog, I wanted to create a single virtual machine. So it is showing one of one virtual machines. Seems like it is completed. Perfect. If you see that the catalog has been created successfully. The power state is off because uh, we have just created the machine. Once we power on, the machine would go to registered state. So, uh, so the whole idea of uh, creating a machine catalog is done in this particular video. So, if you uh, like this video, uh, please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you very much.